Dean Richards faced his old side for the first time since the Bloodgate scandal and having only scored three tries in eight games in the Premiership, a decent sized crowd hoped that perhaps the reunion would work to Falcons' advantage and they could upset Harlequins at Kingston Park. And the irony was lost on few people when Tom Williams crossed for the opening score of the game. Some lovely link-up play between Nick Evans and Dave Ward breaking the first line of defence and Williams picking up the offload to coast in unopposed. Evans converted for a 7-0 lead, but slowly the home side dragged themselves back into the game. Spoiling the Quinn's passing game and eventually winning a penalty on 18 minutes, which Phil Godman slotted. But Quinn's, and particularly Ward, up their game and two simple penalties in five minutes from the boot of Evans gave the visitors some breathing space at 13-3 as Falcons continued to stray offside. Godwin missed a relatively simple shot at the post on the half-hour mark, but made amends two minutes later with a much longer effort to make it 13-6, and that's the way it stayed at half-time. Harlequins pressed the accelerator after the break, scoring almost directly from kick-off. Once again, Evans and Ward making inroads before some swift hands sent Sam Smith over on the left-hand side. Evans missed the touchline conversion, but the visitors held an 18-6 lead. Godman and Evans traded penalties to make it 21-9 on 46 minutes, but a simple Danny Kerr touchdown 10 minutes later really broke open the game for Quinns. Evans with the conversion to make it 28-9. Dean Richards lamented the lack of execution by his players afterwards, but all that was left for Quinns to execute was the try bonus point, and they did so with 13 minutes to spare. Smith jolted into life by a huge hit from Richard Mayhew, picked up the ball just outside his 22 to race clear and put the icing on the cake for the visitors. Final score at Kingston Park, Newcastle 9, Harlequins 35.